First night in Palm Springs, and uh, things have really changed. I remember this sees candy forever, and it's completely empty now, which is weird. And I don't know. Palm Springs has changed a lot since I used to live here, but anyways, trying to get some photos of what was, but it's changing at the same, yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Plus I've got a drink or two in me, so that doesn't help me verbalizing the change. Anyways, first night in Palm Springs. <laughs> I was unfortunately not able to look up when this seas originally opened, but it is reflected that it closed on September 30th, 2021. I have such fond memories of my younger days and popping into the store for just a piece or two to satisfy my sweet tooth. I stayed at Hotel Zozo and what a great spot for being able to be a stone throw away from downtown and all the restaurants, bars, entertainment, and street photography adventure. It is now Sunday in Palm Springs. I've just woken up and my brain is not functioning yet as I'm sure you can tell. Anyways, I'm so proud of myself. I woke up for sunrise. So we're on a sunrise adventure this morning, hoping to get uh, some good pops. All right, here we go. The hotel was going through some renovation while I was there and I look forward to seeing how it turns out on future visits. Hotel Zozo used to be a hard rock hotel and you can tell they're definitely trying to carry on a party vibe. It's a beautiful morning. It's like probably in the 60s or something like that. And I just, unfortunately, am struggling for comps because I only had last night to kind of find some and didn't do too well at that. Uh, so I'm going to try and see if we can find anything good right now. The uh, sunrise is starting to pop off though, as you can see. With my addiction of capturing long exposures, I tried to get some long exposure car shots on Palm Canyon and with COVID-19 pushing patios into the street, it was nice to be able to take advantage of the barricade to capture a composition from the street. stumbled upon the stretch of sidewalk that had been watered down, uh, giving some really nice reflections. I, I like the leading lines of this shot, but unfortunately there's just no real focal point. favorite intersections is Takowitz Canyon and Palm Canyon. This intersection is such a hub of the downtown Palm Springs strip. There was definitely a nostalgia for me shooting in this spot with the leading lines of palm trees and the plaza theater lining up just perfectly in between the trees. I spotted these bike racks first thing and I knew I had to make some sort of composition with them. Loved being able to utilize them as a unique foreground element.
stumbling onto this off the beaten path composition and bringing together a bit of a layered comp with the theater as the background, the palm trees as the middle ground, and the table as the foreground element. I moved down just a little bit from that comp to capture this, and I'm so glad I did. for compositions and is a good example of how Palm Springs is so different to me on this visit. Um, this is not a photo I'm excited about, but I wanted to capture the dichotomy of the beautiful Kimpton Hotel in the background with the views of the mountainscape and then this bizarre cement jungle of graffiti. I'm still not sure what to make of it. found her final home in Palm Springs. I actually shot her uh, years ago with my first DJI F450 drone when Marilyn was on tour in Palm Springs. By the way, this Marilyn sculpture called Forever Marilyn was designed by uh, Stuart Johnson. She stands 26 feet tall and PS Resorts now owns Forever Marilyn and she lives just in front of the entrance to the Palm Springs Art Museum. It was bittersweet to end my time in Palm Springs, capturing her one more time. For gear I shoot with or prints or any other links, uh, all that is below. A big thank you as always for watching this episode of Mixtape 51. And if you've hit that like or subscribe button, I greatly appreciate it. That really helps out the channel. Uh, otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Uh.